It was one of Alexander Doba's wishes to visit the United States. You couldn't have just hopped on a plane. <laughs> this would be too easy. And uh, more, I got more satisfaction using kayak. And that's what floated his boat. He packed for a 99-day trip. Instant meals, two GPSs, two cell phones, two water desalinators, and three bottles of wine. One for one month. <laughs> With Senegal's coast behind him, he set sail in the Atlantic. Though it was a dream come true, he had clear awareness he may not make it to the other side. We really don't know what will happen. If something happened, you know, that's it. In those 99 days, his kayak flipped over multiple times. He battled through storms. Uh, I was doubting sometimes when very strong winds they were kind of pushing me back. But he was never lonely. First of all, I have good communication with via satellite radio and this beacon. And, uh, and also I saw so many uh, li marine life and uh, birds flying over. Sometimes they sit on my, my hand and I kind of pet them. Right. So and he saw wonders you and I may never see. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, I suddenly I saw two butterflies flying. It was something amazing. How? You know how far they reach in the ocean, right. alive. On his 99th day out at sea, he saw Brazil. <laughs> land, dry land, and uh, was so happy. There was one thing on his mind. Uh, my dream was basically, first one was like cold beer. Alexander Doba became the first man to cross the Atlantic by kayak without making any stops on islands. For K2 News, this is Ophelia Young.